YouTube it's your girl Kimberly thank you so much for coming back to my channel this is going to be part two of my Sephora haul so ultimately I got three orders <laughs> don't judge me um and this is going to be the second one um so I will the other order again my first initial haul it was three pieces I did a quick short with that and then my last order that's not here yet is going to be the same thing with three pieces so i'll do a short for that but since i have a lot of stuff in this order i figured i would just go through and show you guys what's in the box so before we get started if you love beauty skincare hair tech travel videos subscribe to the channel that way you won't miss out on any of the great videos i make here for the channel also hit the notification bell that way you'll be first to know when i post a video when i go live and if you like the video like the video so i know to make more of these so um let's get into the thing sephora box wait maybe that's not good because there's a barcode on that side here we go sephora box all right so um some of these things are with points and then some of these things are things that i got because i wanted them so let's go through it so these are things that i got with points this is the isle paradise ultimate glow kit so it has the body polish the moisturizer and then the self tanning drops so that's that that was a free gift with points i'm gonna just put that down here on the side another gift with points is the kills hydration and correction icon so it has the ultra face cleanser the retinol skin renewing microdose serum the super multi corrective eye zone treatment and then the ultra facial cream i haven't tried the the retinol serum or the super corrective eye zone treatment so i'm excited to try those both for the first time this is not mine but they accidentally put it in my order um this is for my sister it's the aqua Geo Georgia Ormani perfume. She, with her order, put in a uh, one of the sample, but I guess they just tossed it in with my box, so I'll be delivering that. Um, next we have the I guess I'll stick with fragrance. So these are my fragrance samples. Um, this is the commodity milk, um, space scent, scent space expressive for me and the many around me. I'm a little nervous about this I although I do like it when people compliment me on my fragrance my goal is never to have a fragrance that's so strong that everybody's smelling it so I definitely wanted to get the travel of this I mean the trial size before I like got the real deal holy field and then I also got the Valentino Donna born in Roma perfume I'm gonna try that live with y'all so y'all can see if I actually like the scent and then I have two more samples um, this is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Volumizing Mascara. So the original first Fenty Mascara, I tried it and it was burning, it was stinging, it didn't perform well, and it was just not good for someone with sensitive eyes. So I'm really curious about this Hella Thick Mascara. I've heard a lot of bad things, so I want to see if people are just bashing it because it's Fenty and they don't like, like it, or is it actually a bad mascara. So that's why I got this. And then I have this um, sample, the Old Enrickson Banana Eye, Banana Bright Eye Cream. This is one of my favorite eye creams. And when I saw there was a sample, I was like, of course I want the sample, duh, because I know it's amazing. So those are the things that were free samples. So um, I do want to go back and try the Valentino sample with you guys, just so I can see if I like it. Um, I'm trying to be a scents girl. Normally, I just stick with my Chanel scents, and that's it. But, oh, this is so cute. Okay, so I think I might have had this before. I don't know. Let's see. Is it a spray or is it a... Mmm, okay. So I love to tar test perfumes on my wrist. So I'm going to start there. And then rub them. Put some on my clothes. Oh, I like this. And I think this is the Valentino one that everybody is, like, in love with anyway, the Donna. So, um, yeah. She smells good. It's a little more um, earthy, musky than what I usually get. So I like that. Okay, so let's get into the things that I bought. Because one of them I need right now because my lips are dry. <laughs> this is Summer Friday's Butter Lip Balm in the shade Cherry. So I'm going to open it up. So I've been obsessed with the Poppy one. So let's see if Cherry's giving what Poppy's giving. Because Poppy is my new everyday lip color forever now. Ooh, liking the red. And this is why I love these things. 
It feels so good. That's the color. It's cute, super cute. Um, I'm gonna put a little more on. I feel like the poppy orange might just go better with my skin tone. So that's why it looks so amazingly gorgeous to me, but. This is cute too. I like it. And this is a little more creamy than the Laneige, so they're starting to inch out the Laneige for me, but really like these. Okay, so next, I have the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. It's a mini. I have the shade Ultra Pink. So I want to try the under eye trend to see if it's working. Usually I'm a honey girl, yellow when it comes to the under eye, but we're going to try this pink. And I'm going to let you guys know how I feel about it. So, um... I wanted to get the one size setting spray, but of course it sold out and then didn't come back till after the sale was over. Y'all think y'all slick? So for I see y'all. But I still love you, but I see you. Um, so then that was the other thing I bought. And then um, lastly, I got the Patrick Ta. So there's been a lot of controversy, not controversy, but some people very strongly feel like this is amazing, best matte palette ever. And other people are like, it's not worth $70. So my thing that I want to see is, is it gonna work on African-American skin, especially that white side of the palette? That's what I wanted to know. So we are gonna open her out the box. And I always open my eyeshadow palettes when I get them because I wanna make sure that it's not cracked. This is so luxe. Right now, to me, it's feeling worth $70 because it's closer to the experience of what I get with gorgeous it is so much more beautiful in real life but um oh perfect and there's like a thing on the paper so i do have a ring light so i'm trying not to blind y'all so i'm gonna angle it downward so those are the creamy shades those are all the powdery shades i'm excited to see if this is gonna show up on my skin tone because um it's giving a little bit it's like lightweight pat mcgrath like this palette got a little heft to it that i was not expecting um so we're gonna see what happens i know the other palettes the multi-dimensional two and what is it two one and two the rosy one and then the tan one people love those so i'm hoping this is giving the same thing so those that is what i got from the sephora vib sale that's my whole part two um let me know if there's anything that you got that you didn't get that you wish you got i'm loving this little fragrance sample um i'm gonna try probably that um scent space fragrance sample another day just so I don't mix too many fragrances and I'll do a short on whether or not I like it or if it smells good so um stay tuned for that but thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today again subscribe to the channel like the video and we'll see you next time all right bye